So this is a weekend video, but I really think that the Voyager debit card is going to be a game changer, at least in my opinion. So I'm gonna play a video of uh, the Steve Ehrlich talking about the Voyager debit card, and then I will give you more of my opinion on it after he talks about it. So let's begin. Oh. Let's talk about the loyalty program, kind of where you guys are going in terms of your debit and credit card offering. Uh, we have lots of questions from our viewers that uh, they, they, they're I'm interested, sure they all of which, yeah, so all of which have kind of jumped into those. Let's start with the credit card side, debit credit. How quickly and do you think that's going to be something we'll see this year? The You would definitely see the debit card this year, uh, and it will be in our... You know, in the near future, uh, it will be there. Uh, we've actually have the look, feel of the card. It's probably going to print in the near future, you know, very, very, very soon. Uh, the bank itself has seen it. The bank we're using, Metropolitan Commercial Bank, MCB, uh, has seen the, the, the debit card. Uh, it's in their final approval processes. UCO, our processor and program manager as well, uh, has approved it. So. It's close. It's really close for us. And, and then it's a matter of distributing and to a beta group of customers to get their feedback on it. Um, I couldn't be more excited about the, the card itself. It stands out. It's different. It looks great. Uh, our design team really killed it and can't wait till we get it in people's hands. That's going to be fun. Any kind of special features in the debit card itself? We've seen different kind of programs coming into the marketplace. You know, most of it's been pretty basic and benign programs like, you know, a little bit of cash back or if they're maybe doing something in Bitcoin rewards, things of that na nature. Where are you, where's your direction going with that? It's all tied to our, our Voyager token rewards program and everything we're unveiling with that program, which starts September 1st. Uh, that's how we see the debit card as part of a bigger overall rewards program, not just a debit card rewards program. And, we have a couple other things we want to unveil on that program, but it's get it to market, get the feedback from the consumers, and then we'll expand on that. We have a couple of, I always say I have tricks up my sleeve uh, to bring some things to the market, but we don't want to get it all out there in one clean swoop. We'll get the <laughs> engagement and start bringing more stuff to the market. Yeah, I like that. And of course, that's going to be tied directly, I'm assuming, to your either USD and or USDC. Will that, would you be enabled to use it that way? The key feature of the debit card is being tied to your USDC balance. So the interest we talked about, you're getting a 9% interest all the way up until the point of sale. And That's so you're getting killer. that yield. Yeah, you, you go to the gas station to use swipe your debit card and you're getting a 9% yield all the way up to that point. Uh, this is like the old school uh, checking accounts that used to have yield on them. But you know now we know yeah. banks Banks don't pay any <laughs> yield on anything. So uh, yeah. So that's really the key. The number one feature of that debit card is all about the yield up until point of sale. This seems to me like this really has, I mean, we've talked with- uh, Launch September 1st, uh, a lot of work on our UI and UX to satisfy you know, customers and make sure they see the pro, you know, where levels they're at in the program. The program has three distinct levels. Uh, I don't recall the names off the top of my head. I should, but I just don't remember them. I think it's just old age setting in. And so I think that we, you know, we'll get that launch September 1st. Debit card will come after that. And the program is set up so we have the, you know, opportunity to add more tiers and levels to that program and bring more benefits as we keep growing the program. Uh, but this is long time. According to Steve, the debit card is coming after the rewards program launches. So in the month of September, there will be the, the, the debit card will come out. And, you know, I think it's going to be very, very exciting. I think it's going to, you know, the, according to him, there's going to be a new design around the whole debit card. And, you know, having an attractive debit card will help increase the customer base. Like for example, some guy be like, oh look, hey, this that looks like a cool card. And then it's like, yeah, it's my Voyager card. And then, you know, he could talk about, hey, you want to sign up to Voyager and get, you know, 9% uh, interest on your on the US dollars. And on top of that, you can also have, you know, uh, use 
use your debit card for like all your transactions uh, and also gain VGX tokens as a reward for obtaining uh, for using your debit card if you know I think the debit card is going to bring in a lot of customers uh, you know the customer like the customer base will boom for Voyager once that debit card comes out but hey this is my opinion and at the end of the day, we'll, only time will tell if that will happen. I'm really excited for the debit card. It sucks that, you know, Canada doesn't want to approve Voyager to come to Canada. So then I can have obtained the debit card. I don't want to move to the United States just so I can use Voyager. That means, like, I would have to find a place to live. I would have to find new friends. I would, you know, have to... Probably pick up a job, and if I get sick, I don't get health care because in Canada you get free health care, but in the United States you don't really get free health care. So your vaccine shots cost you money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so according to Steve, you know, the debit card is launching very soon here, and I think that when the debit card launches, I think VGX token is going to go above $5 US. I think the VGX, I think VGX token is going to moon. Like, I seriously do. I think that the VGX token could double or triple or go to like $10 sometime in the near future, sometime in 2021. I think that that's a huge possibility. I think Vo once Voyager launches in Europe, I think the VGX token is going to skyrocket once that debit card and the uh, loyalty program is live i think a lot of people are going to be forced to buy bjx tokens and when you have a lot of demand and uh if you have a lot of demand i think that voyage like think about it right uh, l think about this a million people right let's say a million people or even five hundred thousand people right five hundred thousand people right Let's say they had to buy an average of 500 coins, you know, 500 just to be on the base level. You know, that is 250 million coins uh, right there. 250 million coins if only half, uh, half a million people buying it. You still have Europe. You still have, uh, you know, you, you still have a lot of uh, uh, countries that, a Voyager can get into their customer base is going to increase the uh the 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 demand for the Voyager token is going to increase dramatically and Voyager is going to skyrocket in price uh the VGX token I, I you know I would not be surprised if the VGX token becomes more valuable than the actual stock price of the company itself I would not be surprised if that happened. Uh, so I think the VGX token is. <laughs> I actually think VGX token is a better opportunity, a better buy than Voyager. I don't have any VGX token because Voyager is not in Canada. I don't want to try to find another way around it. I don't want to go to Binance, buy Voyager tokens, and then use MetaMask and all that. And then when Voyager does come to Canada, convert that Voyager token into. Uh, you know, but my VGX token into the app so I can use it. That just sounds like too much work for me. I'm just going to buy Voyager stock and hold it long term and hope that, you know, it pays off. You know, I think it will. I think Voyager stock is going to go much higher. I think, you know, I, I, I think you'd be, I think it's going to go easily go back to $30 in 2020. One, and, you know, in 2022 who knows like the sky's the limit so we'll see what happens but i'm very very bullish on voyager i think that voyager is going to go to the moon that's my opinion only time will tell if that happens or not anyways uh thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye